The family of the Texas National Guard member who died on the southern border shared what a loving, caring person he was. The body specialist, Bishop Evans, was recovered this morning in the Rio Grande River, and he was honored by a procession of law enforcement and the Guard. Evans is believed to have drowned trying to save two illegal immigrants crossing the river who are now in custody and accused of drug trafficking. His family says they don't want his death to be politicized. Fox 4's Peyton Yeager talked with them tonight. Peyton. Steve and Evans's family made the trip home here to Arlington this afternoon from Eagle Pass, Texas, and the 22-year-old graduated from Mansfield High School back in 2018. The family is devastated, but they say they know Evans died trying to save two other lives, calling him a selfless man with a good heart. Now this morning, Bishop Evans's body was recovered after an extensive search of the river. Law enforcement and guard members lined up to honor Evans as his body was taken by procession to the medical examiner's office draped with an American flag. Evans disappeared on Friday near Eagle Pass, Texas. The 22-year-old specialist was attempting to rescue two people trying to cross the Rio Grande who appeared to be drowning. According to the Texas military, Evans jumped in without his jacket or radio and was, quote, trying to selflessly help the migrants. He never resurfaced. According to Texas DPS, the two illegal immigrants he helped rescue are now in custody of Border Patrol and accused of being involved in drug trafficking. Evans was raised by his grandmother since he was a baby. She, along with several other family members, spoke to us outside their Arlington home this evening about how they would like Evans to be remembered. As a hero, as a person who would give his life for you, even if he saw you in trouble, he saw someone hurting you, he wouldn't ask you who you were before he tried to help you. He just wouldn't. You know, he see that you're in trouble, you know, he'll ask you about yourself later. But right now, you're in trouble, he's finna go help you. Evans's family says they just talked to Evans the night before he disappeared. Evans had served in the Guard for two years, part of Governor Abbott's Operation Lone Star, which is an initiative to crack down on illegal immigration. Governor Greg Abbott and Democratic gubernatorial candidate Beto O'Rourke both called the Evans family today, but the family did not want to expand on the conversations and they did not want to talk about anything involving politics. We would like to avoid all those conversations yeah. right now at this point. That's so, okay. yeah, let's, let's, let's not do that. I really don't think she had a sign on her Mom, said, head Mom, or anything. Mom. Just, Mom. you know, you know, no, he, I mean, he didn't know Mom. it was just a person. If she was God's child. The White House offered its condolences this afternoon. Evans' family tells me Evans knew he wanted to be in the military even before high school. He comes from a large family who also served in the military, and he was involved in JROTC here at Mansfield High School, and he volunteered with the National Guard on the weekends. His family is still working on his funeral arrangements, but they want the public to know that they are overwhelmed and thankful of all the support. Stephen Heather, back to you. All right, Peyton, thank you. Governor Greg Abbott ordered flags to fly at half staff over state buildings. He tweeted out a picture of the flag at the state capitol in Austin flying at half staff. In an interview tonight on the Fox News Channel, he mentioned that he had talked with the Evans family and echoed their sentiment. And this is, is a tragedy uh, for this uh, National Guard soldier uh, who was a, a hero uh, by risking his own life to save the life of others. I spoke with his family and they said he is a loving man. He comes from a family uh, that's long been engaged in the United States military. They love our country. The governor added he is grateful for the way Specialist Evans served his state and his country.